Hey everyone, how's it going? Shuffles back here with another video, and we are back with another RTA fight of the night. Um, this fight was actually our very first fight on stream tonight. Uh, if you guys do want to jump into stream and watch us do some RTA live, I do stream almost every single night from about 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time until about midnight. And you're more than welcome to come join. It is twitch.tv slash five finger shuffle. Uh, the link is in the description. But other than that, let's just jump right into this fight. All right, so you can see we are starting at, where are we? We're at rank 14 there. Why did we exit? Is this not queued up properly? What are we doing? All right, let's uh, skip ahead a little bit. I'm not sure why. Thought I had this queued up. All right, here we go. So we're all matched up. He went Alencia, Cecilia, Cerise, and Lydica. Um, but he went Alencia, Cecilia first. And we went our normal speed team. And then he countered with two really fast units, which... At this point, I can go aux slots and an imprint, but I'm going to have a really hard time outspeeding them still. So I'm kind of torn here as to what to do. Um, sorry about that skip ahead, by the way, but you can see by the delay here, I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do at this point. I end up going with the Shuri and the Mursa. So instead of going Ox slots, um, I figured I'd try and go two speed imprints and see what happens, which doesn't really make any sense. One imprint and either maybe Kali or maybe even Pavel would have worked uh, or Ox slots. Any of those would have worked. Instead, he goes, he finishes off with more damage reduction, which. At this point, I'm super confused. I honestly don't know what to do. I end up just banning his Alencia because his Alencia is his only damage. So, of course, he bans our Lytica because I slipped up and didn't bring any kind of booster. So now we have two imprints, but we have nobody to go first. We have all slow units. Our fastest unit is Mursa, but she can't imprint herself, obviously. So, of course, they get first turn. Cerise goes first. And... As you can see, she landed almost everything. She didn't land on Mursa, though. And then went for the strip there. Doesn't get the strip on Mursa again, but does proc her passive, which means we can do some pretty big damage with this. Unfortunately, our CDOM's kind of limited here. I did decide to skill one on that Cecilia. I'm not really sure why. Um, and then I go ahead and skill three her as well, with the idea that I'm hoping I can save my burns and get a two, attack two people at once with my Tenebra to kind, kind of bail me out of trouble. So they buff up. And now it's Teresa's turn again, and she can stun. It is Sidom's turn. So, of course, she goes ahead, stuns the CDOM. So, CDOM still doesn't move. She's still slowed. She's still restricted. She's completely locked down by this Cerise. And at this point, I am debating giving up because we've done no damage. They've got shields. They've almost, they've completely locked us down for the most part. And now they're resetting the Shuri. So, Shuri now has no attack bar. And then they get an extra attack and kill him. So... And then another dual attack here kills the CDOM. So we're down 2v4. We still haven't moved. The good news is that we can burn into this. We can attack two people at once. And they can't focus her. All they can do is focus the MRSA. Um, and if the MRSA gets enough misses, we can still potentially come back here. It's a huge long shot, and I almost quit the fight, honestly. But I was like, you know what? I've seen other MRSAs do it, so let's give it a shot. So we take three turns here. Attacking two people each with our Tenebria.
And we get the kill on the Cerise. So not too bad, although it did waste all of our souls. Not waste, but it used all of our souls. He was ahead and burns into his Cecilia. Gets the crit on Tenebria. And the Tenebria just barely lives with a little bit of HP there. So now we're just praying for misses. We have our skill 3 next turn from Tenebria. But we need misses desperately at this point. We get a really lucky team up there, which gives us a little bit of damage and strips the immortality from the C. Armin. Then we skill three on the Cecilia, which gets rid of her, reduces everybody. We're, we do have our skill three here, but again, we can't use it. Luckily, we get the slow, though, on the Lydica, which does help a little bit. The C1 there... Skill 1 doesn't really matter, doesn't do anything, doesn't land. And now we're down to the Lydica, and burning into the skill 2, and somehow our, both of our units live there. It, I, I'm shocked they both lived. We burn into this because we're not going to have enough souls for the other one. We delete her, and it is our turn, which means we can get rid of the skill prevent. And this C Armin can't, well can only kill one person, right? And then it's our turn. So it gets the kill on the Mursa. And then with 100 HP left, our Spectre Tenebria wraps this one up. A crazy comeback on a fight that I honestly thought we were going to lose. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this was a fun fight for me. I really wasn't expecting to win it. So it's nice, to, nice when you pull those ones out, uh, especially at that rank, because we would have lost probably 14 points or so instead of only winning six. So... Uh, we kind of hung around all night in that same point range. We moved up a little bit to like top eight, and then we dropped out of Legend, and then we got back in again. Um, so starting up tomorrow's stream, we will still be in Legend. Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It does help me a lot. Uh, we are getting close to 2,000 subscribers, so let's try and hit that sometime soon. That would be fantastic. I hope you all have a great night, and we will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.